Can a casual employee access personal leave? Well, until recently, our default answer would be no in accordance with the national employment standards. But this may be all about to change with the Victorian state government introducing a trial of a paid sick leave program for casual employees. And today we're going to unpack how the trial will work as well as exploring some of the potential outcomes for employees as well as employers. Under the NES, casual employees do not have access to paid sick leave as they're better off overall for going that personal leave and instead being paid a 25% casual loading. However, Dan Andrews and the Labor government argue that not having access to paid sick leave ultimately leads to employees feeling forced to go back to work even when they're unwell. As a result, a two-year trial with an estimated cost of $245.6 million was introduced, giving access for Victorian casual employees of up to five sick days paid at the national minimum wage, which currently sits at $20.33 per hour in March 2022. The trial covers an estimated 150,000 workers in highly casualized industries, such as hospitality, supermarket workers, retail workers, aged care and disability workers, cleaners, and security guards. As this state-based policy will coexist in a federal industrial relations system, the applications and payments will ultimately be facilitated by Services Victoria for the duration of the trial. In on-demand HR's view, this trial is very much in line with the federal Labor government's election policies and fundamental belief to penalise casual employers and to effectively force them and twist their arm to offer full-time or part-time employment instead. From an on-demand HR's perspective, there are two key issues and concerns that we have with this policy. Firstly, there's the double dipping consideration. If a casual employee is already being paid significantly higher wage compared to their part-time or full-time counterparts on account of the 25% casual loading, should they really be allowed to double dip and access sick leave as well? Should this policy then also consider an accompanying reduction in the 25% casual loading? Now, whilst this makes sense on the surface, we feel that this may present some legislative challenges as the casual loading is put in place by a federal instrument. And this trial only covers Victorian employees and therefore it is unlikely. The second major concern is the information that we have on hand about how the scheme will be funded. As we understand it, if it's proven successful, albeit we're unsure what really defines success in this case, Labor has now indicated that an additional tax or levy will then be introduced on businesses in order to fund the scheme beyond the two-year trial. Now, this will have the effect of further increasing the cost to businesses in order to engage casual employees. So the real question is, rightly or wrongly, with the increased cost of engaging casual employees as a result of the tax or levy that's proposed to be put in place to fund sick leave for casual employees following the two-year trial, will this ultimately lead to employees being converted to full-time or part-time employees as intended, or simply lead to less casual employees being engaged and for fewer hours. Time ultimately will be the judge of this. However, in our experience, many casual employees choose to remain casual employees when they're given the chance to convert to full-time or part-time employees as soon as they discover they will need to forego the 25% loading and reduce their take-home pay order to get access to personal and other types of leave. Does your business have a HR or workplace relations issue? Are you unsure how to work through compliance issues but still achieve a good business outcome? Why not take advantage of on-demand HR's 
free 30 minute online consultation with an experienced HR consultant. At the end of the consultation, we also provide you with a strategic action plan to resolve your current issues. To see the types of matters we can help you with and schedule your consultation, please visit ondemandhr.com.au forward slash advice. We look forward to delivering certainty, confidence and clarity for your business in your HR and workplace relations affairs.